Good morning, guys. It's uh, Blige uh, from uh, Ball Stroke Adventures. Uh, guess what we're gonna talk about today? Uh, in contrast to my previous videos, uh, of course, we are in uh, southern Ontario. Uh, in contrast to my previous uh, videos, uh, we did, uh, I did uh, quite a bit on uh, mushrooms and uh, we were talking about uh, mushrooms that are edible. Uh, mushrooms that are edible and they are delicious. Of course, uh, you must be 100% that the one uh, mushroom that you want to eat or consume, it's, uh, you have to be 100% confident that it is the right one. That's why today I'm going to make a video about uh, mushrooms that could actually end your life, kill you. Why? Because uh, some mushrooms, poisonous mushrooms, uh, there is a lot of them actually, uh, they do contain a substance that uh, it could uh, easily kill you. Let me just uh, come closer. Now, this mushroom here, name is not really important at all what's important to you to memorize this mushroom look small specimen young ones uh, big specimen you will find ring around here uh, top gills of course top now Depends on your location. Like I said, this is uh, Southern Ontario. Uh, usually you're gonna find them uh, yellowish uh, to orange, orange color. Uh, they do got, they have like a scabs on the top. See these uh, scabs and it's called uh, fly agaric mushroom, uh, very poisonous. And uh, the problem with this mushroom is Depends how you're looking at. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna touch base about the poisoning uh, in a minute or so. But uh, why it's very important to identify those mushrooms? Uh, they do serve like a, some kind of compass, and uh, it is compass to the delicious uh, bolete mushrooms, which I uh, also found. I'm gonna uh, got uh, quite few. Uh, here in the bag Look at them Beautiful bullied mushrooms and they do look very similar So for uh, not experienced person for forging mushrooms you could be making fatal mistake Okay, so let's go back now. So if you start finding those somewhere in the woods uh, they will kind of uh, give you indication that uh, most likely you will find some uh, bullets uh, around that area uh, of course if you if you if you get lucky now these mushrooms uh, they smell okay uh, nothing wrong you would think uh, in uh, like I said uh, in different parts parts of the world they could be different colors they could be uh, white they could be red and this is also what I call a, a fairy tale mushroom. Why fairy tale mushroom? Because especially those uh, red ones with the red caps, uh, those uh, fly agaric mushrooms, uh, they are known uh, around the world. It uh, looks very mystic mushroom, and uh, you know you could actually see them illustrated in a lot of uh, fairy tales. And, uh, you know, even in uh, Renaissance time, you know, 19th century, uh, you can see them on the paintings, on the pictures. And, uh, you know, it is, uh, you know, a very, very unique mushroom. But very deadly. So what's happening with, uh, with those kind of mushrooms? Uh, like I said, remember this really good. And never take a chance. When you're picking mushrooms, uh, always you need to consider uh, do that mushrooms have poisonous uh, lookalikes and if they do then you really have to be cautious uh, sometimes for me if they have a deadly lookalike I don't even bother not worth taking a chance so this uh, 
fly agaric. Uh, couple of things from the history, you know, they've been used uh, the poison in those uh, fly agarics. Uh, it's, uh, you know, a little bit different than uh, some other poisonous mushrooms. If you eat a poisonous mushroom by mistake and you start feeling sick in about, you know, a couple of hours, uh, you know, vomit, diarrhea, uh, you're probably a lucky person because those kind of toxins, uh, they run through your body, uh, you feel, you know, not really good and, you know, next day or the day after you're going to be uh, just fine. So if you experience some early symptoms, you are a lucky person. Other mushrooms like this ones, uh, you might uh, eat them uh, by mistake, of course, and uh, they might, uh, you know, taste uh, pretty good. Uh, I never actually tried them because I did, I wouldn't be around, but uh, based on the, you know, people who did try them and, uh, you know, they end up being lucky to tell us the story, apparently they taste uh, pretty good. So, if you eat those kind of mushrooms, you'll probably feel just fine. And what's going to happen, uh, uh, six hours, uh, 12 hours, or maybe even next day or day after, uh, you, you might not feel anything, you might feel just fine. And then all of a sudden, you're going to start feeling uh, pretty bad. Uh, you're going to start uh, hallucinating. And this is a very, very bad sign. You should uh, seek uh, help emergency immediately because uh, at that time, a few days after, that uh, all these toxins, they all they ran through your body. And what you are experiencing is uh, kidney and uh, liver failure shutdown. And uh, you don't want that. And that's why uh, if you have any, you know, Lookalike, lookalikes, poisonous lookalikes, uh, don't even bother with that uh, specimens. I'm not going to even hold it. By holding, nothing's going to happen. You actually need to consume them, right? But it is, uh, it is a deadly mushroom. Uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Europe, uh, Vikings, there is actually, uh, they were uh, consuming uh, those mushrooms, uh, not by ton, but uh, before the battles. Uh, you know, those uh, tough, tough uh, Vikings, uh, big boys. So anyway, those kind of mushrooms, uh, those toxins, they also attack a uh, center in your brain that controls the fear. So as they're going to make you, you know, a little bit uh, high or intoxicated, uh, you will completely lose a uh, sense of fear. Uh, so fearless uh, Vikings, right? Uh, like I said, uh, you know, Renaissance paintings, uh, even cartoons, uh, Smurfs, very famous uh, fairy tale mushroom. Uh, again, very deadly as well. Uh, good compass for uh, delicious bleeds, but uh, they do all grow together next to each other. But uh, you know, if you are not sure, uh, don't bother. Well, fly agaric kills flies also if you put uh, them in the milk. Flies comes around, they drink some milk, they're dead. That's why they're called fly agaric. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, video. Stay away from those. And uh, I'm not going to take this with me. I don't want that. Uh, please uh, subscribe and I'll see you at the next adventure. We'll see what's going to be next with the season. So take care, cheers, and please subscribe. I'll continue with my hike.